Good morning, planet Earth. So it is uh, Saturday morning, technically. It's kind of Friday night because it's like 3, so meh. You may have noticed something very shiny behind me. What could that be? What do you think it is? Well, those are actually my windows, as you can kind of see uh, from that. Now, I may have mentioned this in a previous video, uh, but I will, as since I'm going to be here over the summer, and it gets really hot over the summer in Boston, uh, I am insulating my room. Oh, I got too excited there. I am insulating my room with aluminum foil uh, that I have covered my windows in. So, I'm excited about that to see how that, that works out for me. Why won't this stay up? There we go. Uh, so that that is one way that I'm going to be uh, trying to cool my room. Um, I'm I'm still working on getting something for the part of the window that opens. Uh, there's like a screen, and then the the screen stays, but you can open the window, the glass. So I've got to deal with that somehow. Uh, but that's not all. I decided that I wanted to really go all out with this cooling my room thing. So uh, and, and the reason I have to do this also is because the sun actually focuses on my room all day. It rises over there, and it sets over there. So it's just like all day shining my room. I might also try to build <laughs> my own little custom sundial. I'm going to cut a little hole in, near the middle of that or something, and then just each hour mark where the little spot of light is uh, on my wall. I don't actually know if that will work, um, but we'll see. Uh, and, and the other thing I'm going to try to cool my room is I'm going to try building my own cooling system where I have a fan, but you know, blowing around meh, air doesn't do much. So I think I'm going to have two sets of frozen water bottles. Uh, not filled all the way to the top because then when the ice melts, right, it expands, explodes, and everything. So just not all the way, but um, just a set of like maybe four or five water bottles uh, filled halfway with ice, maybe a little more than that. Uh, and th those set up with the fan, and the fan blowing uh, the towards the ice to the rest of the room, um, and and kind of blowing the cold air from that, to spreading it. Uh, and then when that starts melting and it starts reaching equilibrium with the rest of the room, I switch them out with the other set of frozen water bottles, so that the ones that are melted can refreeze, and the ones that were frozen can get melted and cool down my room. And maybe it'll become necessary to do three sets or something if they don't refreeze or fast enough or melt too fast or whatever. But uh, so I, I'm going to be trying a few different things this summer and seeing what works. Um, that should be should be interesting, and I'll you know, be sure to keep you in the loop about all of that. Um, I wrote one of my papers today. I wanted to get them both done. I didn't. Eh, hmm. I'll do the other one tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow is also our senior dinner, where Jay and Tree uh, goes out to eat at a uh, some restaurant, and we dress up, and uh, the entry pays uh, for seniors in full, and subsidizes everyone else 20 bucks. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be going to Fiore, La Fiore, Ristorante Fiore, which is actually where we've gone the last two years. Um, year one, I think, when I was the social chair, I made reservations under the name of Alberto Federico, because it was fun and awesome. And when we went there, and they were like, who are your reservation? What's, your, what's the name? I got to say, Alberto Federico. So, it was cool. Yeah. Uh, and tomorrow I'm hoping to start studying for my 8044, which is StatMax slash Thermo, uh, studying for that exam, which is on Monday morning, Monday at 9. It means I have to wake up at 8. Uh, um, so that'll be interesting. Um, and I also have calculated, uh, you know, projected what my grades are, and I've made little charts that if I get this grade on the final, then this will be my grade in the class, and so on and so forth. Um, so it, luckily, it looks like I'm pretty set in 804, which is quantum, uh, which I kind of expected because I really enjoy the class, and um, uh, it's very interesting, and good, and I understand all the material. 8044, not quite as much, I'll still be fine, but uh, 
how high a letter grade I get will depend uh, largely on my performance on the final. So that'll be interesting. Um, and I think I have A's. I should have A's in my two non-technical classes, the two writing one, the education one, and the science writing class. So overall, I, 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 it's too late to comment on this. I will do this after my finals. But I, it's just shaping up. It's very surprising that I, I came into the semester very um, cautiously uh, saying that this would be my most difficult semester. And in a lot of, in some ways, I guess it has, but not as difficult as I expected, I guess, or or just that I'm surprised that I was able to to do it so successfully. Um, but, and, you know, we'll come back to this, uh, but I, I'm certainly very, very satisfied with it. And from here, um, I'm confident that I can, uh, you know, graduation is so close. I can, like, taste it. It's weird, all the seniors that I, or seniors when I was a junior in high school are graduating uh, from college this year, so that's, that's kind of weird. Uh, and I'm going to be in their spot next year. And actually, I have marked on my calendar on... June 7th, I have marked on my calendar one year until commencement. So, craziness. I signed up to take uh, the MTEL. My hand looks really big when it's close to the camera like that. They're like almost disproportionately large. Anyways, uh, I signed up to take the MTEL, which is the uh, so, like content teacher test in Massachusetts. Uh, so I'm taking the general one that all the teachers need, which is like uh, reading and writing or something. It's like communication skills and literacy, reading subtest, communication skills and literacy, writing subtest. So I'm going to be taking those in the morning uh, over the summer in July, and then in the afternoon I'll be taking the physics uh, con content test, which you need if you're going to be teaching uh, high school physics, which I intend to. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to those. Uh, Although they will be eight hours of testing, I believe. You've got four in the morning and four in the afternoon. So it'll be a long day. Uh, but still, long day of physics. So I, I like it. Um, I need to go to bed. Uh, busy day tomorrow, as I um, alluded to. So that was it. I had a request in the comments to go like this. So I'm doing it. Um, this, I believe, is a Star Trek reference. I don't actually watch Star Trek, and I never have, but this is for you, person who left the comment asking me to do this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all for tonight. Uh, peace.